Hi, I'm Nadi Dansari, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can um, rig your sprite or your character in a spine and how to animate it and export it to Game Maker and use that animation. So without any further ado, let's begin. So in last video, you saw that how we can change this weapon that is dagger to another dagger. So we have two weapons in our goblin hand. We did talk about that and I did show you how you can do that in Game Maker and change your weapon, but we didn't have animation at that time so let's create our animation let's begin we have this project of course i will upload it to github and put to, put to this um, project in spine in description down below don't worry about it. we have this two dagger but we don't need to do anything with it so what we are gonna do in here we wanna rig or a sprite for rigging or a sprite you should know that every image in here we wanna add one or two bone to it what is bone bone um let you animate your character in a spine and there is a lot of cool options cool tools in a spine pro that help you do that with bones so first thing to do let's create a bone first of all you should know this hierarchy we did use it in last video so this is our skeleton that called goblin this is the root bone so and the position of that root bone is at the bottom if you remember from my video about how to import your character from photoshop to a spine pro uh, you know that how we can set this origin to here but if you didn't set this origin you always can change the position of um, this goblin here just we can, you can change it but in photoshop it's easier to change that so now that we have this we want to rig it right so there is some way to do that but i want to show you the basic way and the best way so the basic way is to cre create uh, from our root bone click on your root bone create click on new and select bone and it will create a bone for you okay nothing is and a child to this bone so nothing will change with this bone we can change this bone position and you can see i did select it here and we can change its position the reason that when i change the position it's uh, hidden it will be hidden because i did select deselect these so now i can change it and i can see where it is and let's say i want to give this bone in a slot so the hierarchy is like this first it should be bone in child of our bone it should be in a slot and in child of that slot it should be image or attachment you can have multiple attachment for multiple weapon or multiple um, dress clothes and a lot of things right so we have this bone and i want to just make this head to be child of our bone okay so we can grab it and put it on our bone and now you can see when we select this bone and we change the position of this bone it will change the position of whatever in child of that we can use that in our game maker project i will show you a lot of cool tips and tricks in that so let's get back and again control z control z again we don't need this bone so just delete it the best way to create a bone you should go to setup you see we have two window here first is setup and second is anima animation um, setup so we need to be in the setup there are some tools in here that i want to use create bone in here just remember that it's too much important so in create bone you can create any bone you want okay if you don't select a bone and or if you click your goblin your bone would look like this and it will be the child of our root bone okay so let me change the position in here you can see that we i can change this bone and nothing will happen because there is nothing in child of that but the parent bone of the bone that we created if we change the position of that the position of our bone will be changed so let's control z to go back and again delete this bone we can't just uh, create bone after bone and after bone and uh, manually give a slot to them but what we can do the best way to create bones is like this first of all select this create button in here select a bone that you want to create in child of that so the first bone that always is created for us is the root bone okay that is here and it's automatically created for us next you should hold control and select the image that you want to create bone for it so that image and its slot will be child of our new bone so we hold control click on our image see i did select it and release that control button and now we can create our bone so like this we did create a bone that our torso is in child of that and our torso image in is in child of that a slot okay so now we have this bone and this bone is child of the root bone and the root bone is here 
So no, you should decide what you want to what you want to do. What this uh, arm should be child of. Okay. So let me read one by one and explain to you what you should do. Let me zoom a little bit with middle mouse. And no, I wanna just add a bone for this neck, and I want it to be a child of over torso bone. Okay. So hold control, select your neck, and create your bone. And no, we have this bone for our neck and now if we go to rotation and select our torso bone we can rotate it and the um, neck bone will be rotated with that so let's move on after that we want to create a bone for our goblin head so first of all select the bone that you want it to be parent of head bone so i want a goblin head to be child of the neck bone so help, select that bone that you want it to be parent of hold control of course you should be at create bone metal create new bones in here and after that when you select your bone select uh, hold control and select the head and now release your control and now you can create a bone for our head and now again if you go to translate and if you change the rotation or, or translate or rotation of our torso the neck bone and the head bone will be affected with that after we create a bone for torso we create a bone for neck and our neck bone is the child of our torso bone just go to click just create click on this create event and it will show it in here as well so you can see this uh, red line in here it show you what this bone is child of what bone so this bone is child of this bone and this bone is child of this bone so know that we know how we can create bones let's again create bones for our hand so what this hand should be child of i want it to be child of this torso bone okay because th when this torso bone move I, we wanted the hand to move with that torso right it's how life works so first we should click the torso bone hold control click on this arm and after that just release the control and now we can create that bone and you can see with that red line you know what is the parent of this bone and again know that this is selected and i wanted this part to be child of this part so we did select this bone and hold control select this and again release control and create our bone so this bone is child of this bone and this bone is child of this bone so now you know how it worked right so for hand it's just like this create it like this again select this because i want to do it for this hand as well hold control select this create your bone and this bone will be child of this bone the torso bone so again select hold control select this part of hand and again create that so it it is the child of this um shoulder okay and again know that is that this part is selected hold control select this hand in here and again create your bone for this as well so let's move on to the legs again select this torso and hold control select this and again create bone for this hold control select this and you can see how fast you can do that again select torso bone because i wanted this leg to be a child of this torso so select this and again create bone for that again hold control create bone for that with right click we can uh, move so again hold control select this and everything is set up now um, this part this private part i want it to be a child of torso again so select torso and select all these parts in here okay that's cool and now we can create bone for this as well and all of this will be child of this bone and this bone will be child of the torso bone and um no everything is okay but um this dagger is not so let's just select this bone and hold control select our dagger and create a bone for our dagger so now that we have all of this uh character read we can change the rotation tr uh, transition and everything so if i change this you can see that everything move and let's say i want to change the position of this hand rotate this hand and i can do that you can see it's behind our character so what we can do let's just go to draw order in draw order we can do ordering of all of these images so this dagger and this hand and this shoulder should be at the top of our character so let's just find them so this should be at the top this dagger should be at the top this should be at the top again and this as well so now if we select our character and rotate this now you can see it's at the right layer or right draw order and now we can have this okay 
we can change the rotation of whatever bone we have in here so know that we have this let's create animation for that so let's just click on here go to animate mode zoom out a little bit with right click we can move and no i want to create a idle animation okay for creating idle animation i want to change the position of this torso and keyframe it okay so the problem here is when we go to tran translate we when we change the torso position it will change the position of all of this so we make a mistake in here so what we can do about it let's just go to setup again and we don't want this upper uh, leg to be the parent of the torso so we can just drag it and put it on root again with this one let's just drag it on the root so this lower part of our body is not anymore a child of the torso so if we go to animate and change the position of this torso what will change is just this upper body and leg won't change its position with that so let's just keyframe that for keyframing, just select the bone you want to keyframe and hit the keyframe in here or select auto key in here. Right now, I want to change the position. So I create a keyframe to in here, go to, let's say, uh, frame number 10 and change the position a little down. And again, go to um, frame number 20 and go back to the first position. How we can do that? We can just select the first keyframe here, control C to copy it and go to frame 20. Control V to paste it and it will be like this. So you can see it has a, a small animation, right? And we can have that in our game maker. And I will show you how you can do that. It's not perfect. So let me adjust something in here. I want to change the rotation of this um, right shoulder in here. So first of all, let's just uh, create a keyframe at the frame zero like this. Go to frame 10 and change the rotation like this go inside a little bit and in frame 20 just copy this first frame and paste it on frame 20 and let's just do that for left arm as well so we should select the left shoulder bone and at the frame zero create a keyframe for that and at frame 10 let's just change the rotation like this and again copy the first frame and paste it to frame 20 and now let's just play it and you can see we have these uh, idle animation right and in game maker with all of this animation we can change weapon as well so let me show you how you can do that now that we have this animation let's just go to s fine export and in here head to export if you don't know how to export it uh, you can watch my video about how you can export uh, your spine to the game maker because game maker doesn't support all version of spine so you should change the version of your uh, exported spine animation to the version that game maker supports so please watch that video so you remember from last video we did at goblin tour game maker project if you didn't watch it please watch it it's too much important if you get an error to uh, for importing your spine project to game maker um, watch my video about spine to game maker it's very much important because game maker doesn't work with all the version of spine so you should use right version I, I did show you how you can do that please watch that video so for that let's just create an sprite in here call it spr goblin i did delete the last spr goblin because we make some changes so we should import it again and you can see that we have this goblin.json that is the version 3.8 and game maker version 2.3.3 doesn't support that and i did change it to uh, version 3.7 and, and i did show you how you can do that in my video about um spine to game maker and this goblin final is for my last video and i didn't want to remove it so i named the new uh, goblin that has animation in it to goblin final 02 so because i want to upload it to github so you can use it in your project or just test with it okay so head open in here and and we have this goblin okay so now that we have this go to obg goblin in here and you remember from last video we changed the weapon with um key press one and key press two so we can change the weapon we don't need to change anything else in here so let's just create a create event add a create event in here and let's just play that animation so we say a skeleton set animation animation set and give it the animation name so if you go to our spine go to setup and go down in animation you can find the animation name in here so this is the animation that we created in here 
animation this is the name that we should copy and it should give us this animation here so let's just double click on here copy its name go to game maker and say a skeleton animation set and give it the animation uh, i did forgot to add the new sprite that we created to our object so let's just add it fast in here and now we add it here let's just go to a room and add it add this object to a room that is our goblin okay so now let's just head run again and now you can see that our animation is here and if we hit two it will change the um, dagger and you can see we can change the weapon we can have as much as animation we want and uh, we can change weapon with all that animation and we don't need to create a lot of a sprite and we play it it's just with just two or three line of code you can do all of these and it looks fine right so in the next video i will show you how to create more complex animation not just changing the bones changing the mesh so the, with the mesh if you have already a character that you don't have a photoshop a photoshop file for that that you can change the layers you can animate that as well in this project we have the head separated in separate in separate layer we did have neck in separate layer and everything was in separate layer in the next video i will show you how you can animate the character that is not in separate layer and it's just an image it's just an sprite and how you can animate that so please hit that subscribe button so you can watch that thank you very much for watching if you want to help me please hit that like button thank you very much bye